Zen West D1 uh, was originally thought out as a mutual dream between a number of uh, industry uh, professionals among myself. The mutual dream was to build a supercar or a hypercar. In the development of the car, design and engineering were equal partners. We wanted a car that was uh, equally efficient on a racetrack, but would also be attractive to drive up in front of the uh, casino. And we had a mutual understanding, my, my, myself and our engineering team, that, that this was the important balance of the project. I, I had this image in my head of a lion uh, crouching in the, in, the, in the grass, ready to attack its prey. This sort of, uh, this sort of feeling of, of, of muscular uh, tension waiting to be unleashed. And, and that is actually the inspiration of the way that the, the, the sort of flow of our, our wheel arches over the front wheels and the rear wheels, they're really inspired by the, the shoulder blades of the lion sort of crouching down in the grass. Otherwise, we wanted to create uh, drama in the surfacing of the car. And the, the drama is created through um, that all the sort of basic lines on the car are free-flowing, accelerating lines. But they don't meet each other, they overlap or they, they, they intersect with, with distance from each other. And this means that the surfacing in between the lines becomes uh, surfaces that, that either is in the shade or is in the light. So that creates a lot of drama in the surfacing, reflecting these, this, this tremendous power of the car. Also, we wanted to create continuity of, of, of the sort of elements of the design on the car. And in the front, we have our hexagon grill, which is our trademark grill. The elements of the front is actually repeated in the back. So in the back, we don't have the grill, but we have the big diffuser that is also the central element. And, and in the back, it's flanked by two big uh, grills in which the rear lights are positioned in the same way as the front. And, and we have two big air exits for the hot air from the engine to, to exit. And we also have the exhaust in the, in the, in the outer grills. It was also very important for us to uh, have a continuity between the exterior design and the interior design, um, which is why we have, we have taken the theme of the hexagons from our trademark grill and repeated it in the way we do the quilting of the Alcantara of the seats. And the pattern is repeated on the door side and on the, on the ceiling and even on the, on the bottom base of the, um, the luggage compartment. So it's sort of everywhere we have uh, fabric or leather in the car, we, we use this theme. For me, I'm very happy as a designer to have been able to achieve that because I've, I find that many cars uh, have a sort of a clash between exterior and interior and, and, uh, and here we managed to make, put, a, put a red line through the whole thing. The concept of the car is that it should be very easy to drive, like an um, everyday drivable car. The engine is uh, normally V8 construction, but uh, completely built and constructed in-house. It's providing 1104 horsepower, 1430 newton meters, and it's a 6.8 liter. The data on the car is an electronic controlled speed limiter uh, at 375 kilometers per hour from zero to 100 in less than three seconds. There is three different settings on the power, 650 horsepower, 850 horsepower and 1104 horsepower. If you are in the low power mode, you can, um, you can easily drive the car and of course it takes skills if you are in 1104 horsepower.